welcome to another special edition of UNFPA's Humanitarian Response to the COVID-19 pandemic in Ghana. For our headlines, one, UNFPA donates to the Ghana Federation of Disability Organizations. Two, UN in Ghana hosts third edition of Youth Impact Series. Three, second edition of e-classroom series held on SRA challenges. Four, UNFPA hosts the amazing edition of the Global Conversation Series on Nairobi Commitments. And five, UNFPA Honorary Ambassador celebrates 40th birthday with young people. Let's begin with a donation exercise where UNFPA Ghana has provided 700 dignity kits to the Ghana Federation of Disability Organizations at the Accra Rehabilitation Centre. Presenting the dignity kits to the Federation, the Deputy Representative of UNFPA Ghana, Dr. Agnes Minti Barua, expressed UNFPA's unwavering support to persons living with disabilities. She added that UNFPA will continue to advocate for the prioritization for the provision of essential health care services, including reproductive health services to all persons who need it, even during the pandemic. To some online engagements, the United Nations Youth Group in Ghana held a third edition of the Youth Impact Series DAB, expanding the youth innovation spaces. Over 300 participants listened to insightful submissions made by the Special Advisor to the Ministry of Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation, Mr. Oliver Boache, founding lead of the Ashesi Design Lab, Dr. Gordon Adomja, President of the Internet of Things Network Hub, Joshua Ajeman, Social Entrepreneur, Chinua Onu and co-founder of developer Zuleha Dobia. It was aimed at highlighting some of the inspiring innovations during COVID-19 in Ghana and deliberate on creating and supporting youth innovation spaces. The session was moderated by a broadcast journalist at Metro TV, Emmanuel Kwesi Efri. Still on webinars, the Adolescent Girls Program of UNFPA, supported by Canada, has held the second edition of the e-classroom series, Ideas and Action. Topics treated were Basics of SRH and ASRH by Ishmael Selassie of PPAG and Wallah by UNFPA's web-based platform by Dorcas Manotti. The second of the four virtual capacity building sessions brought together over 120 participants from 11 regions. This e-classroom series seeks to build the capacity of young people on how to confront sexual reproductive health challenges through social innovation. Also, to accelerate commitments made to women and girls during the Nairobi Summit, UNFPA has commenced its global conversation series that Nairobi Commitment ICPD 25, What's Next? The first discussion focused on strengthening health systems responses to gender-based violence, thus ensuring continuity of essential health services and promoting equality and rights. The conversation highlighted the importance of ensuring that COVID-19 responses are gender-responsive and rights-based. Notable among the panelists were the Executive Director of UNFPA, Dr. Natalia Kanem, and the Ghanaian youth activist, Jean-Philippe Lawson. Finally, to some celebrations, honorary ambassador of UNFPA Ghana, who doubles as the chief executive officer of Glitz Africa, Miss Claudia Lumo, celebrated her 40th birthday with young people via an Instagram live session. The virtual celebration that afternoon tea with UNFPA Ghana ambassador focused on young people learning about the journey of the ambassador and career guidance. The elated birthday celebrants expressed her appreciation to UNFPA Ghana and advised young people to avoid the tendency to rush in life. Thank you very much for watching this edition of UNFPA's Humanitarian Response to the COVID-19 pandemic in Ghana. Don't forget to follow all our social media platforms for more updates. And remember, stay safe.